Many questions are asked about the Indian headdress that I wear, which is really called a war bonnet. And it was not worn in war, but where the word war came in is that each of these feathers, that incidentally comes from an eagle, was worn by the Indian in a ceremony, and it depicted one of the battles of bravery, where the Indian stood out in real feats of achievement. All of this design that you see here real close was something that was typical of his tribe and of his particular family. And then after he achieved about 30 of these feathers, which took, I guess, something like five or six different eagles, because the tail feather was the only feather that was used, that meant that he had to be a brave Indian for a long time to achieve this much of a headdress. Then, after he had been brave for many years, to it was added all of the trail of feathers that each one the Indian could get together in a ceremony and tell about great battles and feats of victory where he had lots of courage. The peace pipe was a merit and an honor that was held only for the elders of the tribe or the councilmen and it was used in a peace ceremony so that when a visiting Indian would come to another tribe of Indians, they could show him a welcome and a spirit of friendship. Usually the elder would tell a story that he had one time been in a battle of some warfare or another where he was very brave, and then at the conclusion of his story, he would smoke the peace pipe. Then at the conclusion of smoking the peace pipe to show his friendship, he would then give it in an opportunity to another one of the Indians and uh, that Indian would tell his story, and then he would smoke the peace pipe. And then it was extended on to another Indian, and he would tell a story about one of his great feats of bravery, and so on. In the evening, it was used to go around to all of the Indians that were there. They would give the Indian folklore, the history, and at the same time, it was an act of friendship. Now, one of the ways that the Indian handed his customs and traditions on to the younger generations was to gather all of the children together in the evening after all of the work of the day had been done and to tell them stories of the Indian ways and to show them how the old forefathers of the Indians did things. I can remember many times when my ancestors showed me the ways that the Indians did things. Children, today we have some dancers that are going to show us some of the Indian ceremonial and traditional type dances. The first dance that our dancers are going to do for us is a dance that shows the friendship of the Indians whenever they invited another group of Indians to come and visit them. And whenever there was a dignified Indian, then they would dance around him, he would be in the middle, and they would bring to him gifts. And this was one way that the Indian people were friendly to any other Indian that was visiting. Shall we watch as the ceremonial dancers show us how the Indians showed friendship? a beautiful dance. Well, I'm sure that made the Indians that were visiting feel very much at home. Now, there was another type of dance, and this dance, children, 
was a dance that made the Indian, when he had grown to manhood, be recognized by all of the tribe as being a brave and a warrior. Now, I can well remember when my ancestors danced the initiation dance for me. And in this dance, the old elders got out and they danced for me to show that I was a young man that was brave enough and strong enough that I could go and do battle amongst our enemies and at the same time that I could also go out on a hunting trip. And this was something that every young boy wanted to grow up to be. Let us watch as the ceremonial dancers show us the initiation dance where the young man now became a man and a brave and a warrior. this dance, children, we saw that the Indians were able to initiate the brave and to make him a real warrior into the Indian tribe. Now, there was another dance that was very interesting, and this was a dance where the Indians got together and they competed one with another. It was a form of a contest and a competition where the Indians in their folklore began to compete against other tribes and clans within the tribe to find out who could dance the best. This was their form of entertainment. Now in the dance that we're going to see now, the Indians danced and the group that could go down and pick up a feather off the ground were the ones that were the winners. Let us watch as they do the feather dance for us. Ah! 